God bless you, child of God. How are you today? This is your brother in Christ, brother prophet Okumbo. God bless you again. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for another beautiful day. Amen and amen. I am making this video because I want to encourage a man or woman out there whom Satan has spotted you. Satan has marked you. Satan has decided that he will frustrate your work, frustrate you. Satan has decided that if he cannot get you, own you, possess you, if he cannot have custody of you, he will do everything possible to destroy your life. I know of a sister long time ago that brought a case to our ministry. And she said she didn't like a particular man, but the man continued to stalk her and follow her about. And the man continues to destroy her relationships. Anytime she wants to get into a relationship, the man will go behind the scenes and find a way to reach the new man and make sure that that man does not date her. You will see situations like that in this world where if you are gifted, anointed, if you have money, if you have anything that you have, like Joseph's coat of many colors, sometimes certain people will spot that gift they will spot that anointing they will spot that freedom that god gave you that liberty god gave you that independence god gave you that land god gave you that house god gave you that wife god gave you as in the case of nabot when he had the land by the king's palace and ahab and jezebel wanted it and this person will follow you they can sometimes chase after you 100 years 40 years 50 years you have somebody you don't know from anywhere you don't live in their streets you did not marry their wives you did not collect their money you don't owe them nothing to warrant the purpose why they are after you but you know we live in a generation where there are certain people who believe that some people don't deserve to get certain things they think you don't deserve forgiveness. You don't deserve to be a part of revival. You don't deserve to have a husband or a wife. You don't deserve to have a car, to live in a house. You know, there are things, there are things that you will see in this generation and it will bother you. It will disturb you. you no, you don't deserve to be a judge. You don't deserve to be in America. You don't deserve this. You don't, des you don't deserve that. We all deserve good things in life. Because we don't leave the earth with nothing other than the life that God gave us is a gift and a privilege. Do you understand, child of God? <laughs> you will meet with some people sometimes and they will think that by destroying you is the only thing that gives them joy is to see other people destroyed. The only thing that gives them happiness is to see other people's ministries broken to pieces. Other people's marriages destroyed. They come and tell your wife to leave your husband alone. That the man is bad. They tell the husband, leave the wife alone. The, the wife is bad. Just bringing pain. They like to see people in pain. That is the spirit that live inside of them. That's why I came to speak to a child of God today. You have a job and somebody, a co-worker, a boss, a son. Don't worry. God is merciful. God is so merciful that he allows you to learn in so many ways. So learn your lessons with anybody who saw you and who does not want to see you survive. Who thinks that your survivor gives them sleepless nights that your ministry your marriage your wife the things that god wants to do for you disturbs their mind 
and they don't think that anybody like you should ever rise up in life. So don't let it bother you. Just give yourself over to God in prayer. The Bible says you should be sober, be vigilant. Your adversary, the devil, he roameth about, seeking whom to devour. Never let anybody talk you out of a blessing that God has ordained to get to you. If you live overseas and somebody say, oh, come back to Africa. Oh, don't stay in Canada. Oh, don't stay in America. Oh, don't stay in the United Kingdom. Don't listen to them. If God wants you to be there, stay there and prosper there. Because you do not need the validation of any man or woman anywhere before God will bless you. Are you hearing me, child of God? Uh, 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 a narcissistic gaslighter will do everything possible to make sure they hold your legs because they have seen the glory of God upon your life and they don't want you to get to your destiny. If you listen to them, they will succeed in destroying your life. Don't listen to them. My sheep hear my voice. The voice of a stranger they will not follow. God bless the body of Christ. In Jesus' most precious name we pray. Amen and amen.